Good morning, my dear students in group eight. This is a new lesson of grammar, the passive voice. The passive voice. Um, first, um, if you uh, need more, more explanation and more exercise and examples, you can use this link to give you more video on the YouTube. Uh, now, the passive voice. We have two voices in English, passive and active. All right. Active voice means what? Normal sentence, subject, verb, and so on. But the passive voice, it is uh, like we see in Arabic, al mabni al maghul. Right? This is the pass passive voice when you start with the object. We'll see this. Uh, we'll read together. Verbs have different voices and moods. The voice of a verb tells whether it, its subject performs or receives the action. So it depends on the subject. A verb in the active voice, all right, when the subject performs the action or the verb, all right, so the, the, the active voice means when the subject, the person, for example, does the action or perform the action, okay, when the subject perform the action. This is the active voice. Passive voice, the opposite way. When the subject receives the action or the verb. How come? Look at these examples to understand this more. Active voice. Neuroscientists study the brain. Neuroscientists study the brain. What is the subject? Yes, neuroscientists. This is the subject, the persons who does something. The verb or their action is study. So they study the brain. This is the normal way of sentence. Look at the passive voice. What is the change? First, we have to identify the parts of the sentence. Neuroscientist, this is the subject. Study, this is the predicate or the verb. The brain is what? Yes, the object of the direct object. In the passive, we put the object first. We put the object first. So we start with the brain. All right, and here comes the change of the verb. The brain huh, is what is studied, and then we add by the subject of the main sentence by neuroscientists. What happened? We put the verb, the, the object first, and the subject that was subject we put in the end, preceded by this uh, this. Uh, Particle by or preposition by, all right, by neuroscientists. And the verb changed. Study changed what is studied. What happened? Uh, is this is verb to be? And the studied this is the past participle. And this is the main form of any passive voice. We use verb to be, look at this verb to be plus past participle. That's it. Verb to be according to the tense. When it is present, so it is is. When it is past, so it is, it will be what? Was. Like this sentence, this example. The next example, look at it. Uh, politicians write laws about age. Uh, this is in the present, the same way. Uh, politicians write laws about age. Passive, laws, this is the, the, the object, laws in the start. Write will be what? Are written. This is verb to be in the present. Are, why are? Because this is plural, but that was, or that is singular. So brain is, but laws are. Past participle write, written. Laws are written about age. Very simple. All right. Now, um, this is the present simple in the passive. Verb to be. Uh, and is are plus past participle. This is our first step. Or our first part in this lesson. So remember this rule to help you a lot. You, you, the only change, the only most important change is the verb or the tense. We change it into is. M R we put this and the past participle of the verb. Alright, and we act 
uh, as I told you, we put the, the subject, sorry, um, the object at the subject of the new sentence. For example, I'll answer uh, with you some of these sentences and the rest will be homework. Yes, to number eight. So we'll take the first two, or say the first three, and you take five items homework. Number one, I love my parents. I love my parents. What is the subject I? The verb love. The object, my parents. So how to, how to do it? Start with what? My parents. I start with this. My parents love. The verb is present or past present. So how to, my parents what? Is, am or are? Yes, my parents are. Love would be what? What is the past participle of love? Loved. By me. As I told you, by before the subject. But can I say by I or by me? By me. So, my parents are loved by me. Number two, she writes plays. She writes plays. What is the object? Plays. Yes, very good. This is the, sub, the, the, the object. We'll start with it. Plays. Yes, are. Huh? Right would be what? Written. Yes. By, huh, by she or by, huh? yes, by her, by her. Plays are written by her. All right, very good. Number three, birds build nests. Birds build nests. Yes, the object is nests. We'll start with these, nests, huh? Which one? Are, yes. Build, the past practice of build will be what? Belt, very good. So the sentence will be like this. Nests are built by birds. All right? That's it. So uh, from four to eight, this is the first part of your homework. From four to eight. Okay? Uh, next part, number B, this next part. About the past, the past tense of the past simple. Here instead of am, is, are, we'll use what? Was or where? Where, when is the ver where the verb? Uh, when the verb is in the past, we use was or where plus the past participle. All right? We give it more focus this way. These are the most important parts. Was where and the past participle. Try to uh, see this. Active, a kind woman opened the door. A kind woman opened the door. This is the subject, kind woman. The verb opened in the past, the door, this is the object. So how to change it into passive? We start with the door. The door, yes, this is past. So we use was or where. The door, yes, was. And the past participle from open or open would be opened. The door was opened by a kind woman. All right. Another example. The teacher praised the boys. The teacher praised the boys. So where is the object? The boys, yes, we'll start with it. The boys, yes, were traced by the teacher. Very good. This is a very simple way of acting. Now come to uh, the homework, or some will answer the same way, some items, and this will be homework. How many are they? They are 10. So I'll answer with you uh, five. Five, okay. We'll answer the first five and you take the other five as homework. Number one, she ate an apple. She ate an apple. What is the object? An apple. The verb is ate in the past, so an apple huh, was eaten by hair. An apple was eaten, was eaten by hair. All right. Number two, she told me a story. 
So, as she told me a story. You can start with a story, this is object, or I, this is another object. There's two objects here. If you start with a story, so I'll start like this. A story, yes, was told to me by her, or a story is told by her. If I start with uh, I, the other object, I uh, was told a story by her. All right, so on. Number three, she answered the question. What is the object? The question. So the question was uh, answered by her. Very good. The question was answered by her. Number four, she accepted the invitation. She accepted the invitation. What is the object? Yes, the invitation. The verb accepted in the past. So the invitation was accepted by her. Very good. Number five, he solved the puzzle. He solved the puzzle. Yes, the object of the puzzle was solved by him. All right? The puzzle was solved by him. Uh, these are five. The other five will be your homework from six to ten. So your homework altogether, five in the present, five in the past. This is your homework. Uh, it is due after two days. Today is Monday. So uh, Wednesday. I should receive it Wednesday, inshallah. Uh, bear in mind, we'll have a quiz this, a quiz this week on the vocabulary. Mostly in vocabulary. Unit uh, nine that I give you. I finished with you already. Uh, unit nine will take exercise and I'll give it as a quiz, exercise and quiz, all right, next time. Uh, there's a grammar quiz also, but maybe next week. But for sure, we must take a quiz this week on vocabulary, all right? Thank you, see you later, bye.